Okay, so now we're ready to use the PicKit 3 to program our circuit. Here's our PicKit 3. You'll notice that Microchip changed the names of the LEDs to Power, Active, and Status from the different names on the PicKit 2. It doesn't really matter, though. They essentially do the same things. Uh, we plug in the B end of the USB cable to the PicKit 3 just as we did with PicKit 2. There's a little bit of a delay. And there it is, the operating system recognizing it. So now we're going to connect the PicKit 3 to our programming connector just as we did with the PicKit 2. and we're ready to enter the PicKit 3 uh, standalone programming software. Now before we do that I should mention the PicKit 2 standalone programming software was around for a long time and Microchip refined it and made it very user friendly. Uh, the the PicKit 3 standalone programming software is a relatively recent release. It's still in version 1.0 um, so it's not as user friendly yet. Hopefully Microchip will continue to improve on that as time goes on. So we double click on that and that will take a moment to come up. I'll zoom in during that time. And there we are. So the first major difference you're going to notice versus the PicKit 2 software is our chip was not. Let me zoom in adjustment there. There we go. Our chip was not auto detected under device. It says PIC 10F200. Of course, that's not what we have connected to our board at all. So we have to choose 18F4550 from our list here. 18F. Where are you? PIC 18F4550. There we go. Okay, now we're going to do the file and import hex process, just the same as before. Desktop, internal clock blank, internal clock dot hex, <clears throat> and there we are, our hex files imported. So now we're going to choose write, and I'll pan out so you can see the light blinking again while we're writing. And you'll notice the status LED on the PicKit 3 blinks red while it's programming. And that'll be a solid green when it's done programming. And it's still going, and it's still going, and there we go. So you'll notice, although the status LED of the PicKit 3 is solid green, the PicKit 3 standalone programming software doesn't give us as friendly of a message indicating programming is complete as the PicKit 2 software did. But in any case, our programming is done, so we can go to this side on the, this area on the right here now. Once we check the on box again, five volts will be applied, so we'll pan out and then do that. And hopefully, we'll get some blinking LEDs. And there we are, blinking LEDs. So we've successfully used the external programming software to program our chip with the PIC Kit 3. Now, uh, the next thing we're going to take a look at is the using MP Lab to program the 18F4550 with the PicKit 3.